Elon Musk is not only a visionary entrepreneur, but also a genius engineer and passionate fan of space exploration. He has been fascinated by space since he was a child and made it his life's mission to push the boundaries of what's possible in space travel. As the founder and CEO of SpaceX, he has revolutionized the space industry. But Musk's love for space goes beyond just business. He has been following the journey of the Voyager spacecraft since its launch in 1977, when he was just a teenager. Recently, Musk revealed a shocking discovery related to Voyager. One of the Voyagers has detected something that could change our understanding of the universe and our place in it. What did he find? In the depths of interstellar space, did it make contact with an intelligent life form? The Voyager spacecraft have been able to survive in the harsh environments of outer space for over four decades, defying all expectations. But how long will they continue to survive? Let's find out. August 20, 1977. Elon Musk was only a child when the Voyager spacecraft were launched. He was captivated by that great launch and their remarkable achievements left a lasting impression on him. Fast forward to today, and Musk's company, SpaceX, is at the forefront of space exploration, developing reusable rockets and launching satellites and crewed missions to the International Space Station. His vision of colonizing Mars and transforming humanity into a multi-planetary species has captivated people all over the world. In some ways, Musk is carrying on Voyager's legacy by pushing the boundaries of space exploration and inspiring a new generation of scientists and engineers. Who knows, maybe one day a SpaceX launched spacecraft and venture even further into interstellar space. But as of now, Voyager 1 holds the record for the most distant artificial object from Earth, located billions of miles away in interstellar space. The Voyager spacecraft were launched to take advantage of a rare alignment of the solar system's four largest planets, which allowed the spacecraft to gain speed from the gravitational pull of each planet it passed through. Because this alignment happens only once every 176 years, NASA built two identical spacecraft to take full advantage of this once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. All data collected by the spacecraft instruments is stored on 8-track tape recorders before being transmitted back to Earth by a 23-watt transmitter. Both Voyagers have 12-foot-wide dish antennas to send and receive signals to compensate for the weak transmitter. Since their launch in 1977, the Voyager spacecraft have made numerous discoveries, including the discovery of active volcanoes on Jupiter's moon Io, evidence of an ocean beneath Jupiter's moon, Europa's icy crust, and evidence of methane lakes on Saturn's moon Titan. The Voyager spacecraft, on the other hand, faces numerous challenges in their ongoing mission. They are in one of the universe's harshest environments, with extremely cold temperatures and pitch black darkness. They also contain high levels of radiation, making it difficult to keep the spacecraft's scientific instruments powered and operational. To tackle this issue, the Voyager spacecraft is powered by radioisotope thermoelectric generators, or RTGs. The fuel source for these generators is plutonium-238, which produces heat that is converted to electrical energy. Each Voyager probe is equipped with three RTGs that produce 470 watts at 30 volts DC. However, the power output of the RTGs degrade over time, posing a significant challenge to the spacecraft's continued operation. The RTG's plutonium-238 fuel has a half-life of 87.7 years, indicating that they are designed to be extremely reliable and long-lasting. But the recent problem with the unknown signals from Voyager has raised some concerns about the reliability of the new data from the Voyager. Despite signal and power challenges, the Voyager probes have been able to explore some of our solar system's most fascinating and mysterious objects. The first stop on their journey was Jupiter, which Voyager 1 reached at after 546 days of travel in March of 1979. Both Voyager probes were designed to be stable platforms for their Vidicon cameras, which produced full-color images using red, green, and blue filters. While traveling through space, the Voyager spacecraft does not spin much. In fact, their rotational motion is more than 15 times slower than the crawl of the hour hand on a clock. This deliberate design choice helps to reduce the possibility of blurred images. The Voyagers are also powerful tools for scientific research. One of their instruments, the Low Energy Charged Particle LECP detector system, picked up what scientists thought were unusual signals, while more than a million miles away 
from Jupiter. They noticed oxygen and sulfur ions striking the detector. The density of oxygen and sulfur ions had increased by three orders of magnitude compared to previous measurements. The team initially thought the instrument had malfunctioned, but upon closer inspection, they discovered there was nothing wrong. The scientists were able to solve one puzzle, thanks to the cameras on the Voyager probes, whether Io had active volcanoes. The moon is slightly larger than Earth's moon and has been confirmed to be the solar system's most volcanically active body. The only active volcanoes we knew of before that time were on Earth, but Io had 10 times the amount of volcanic activity as Earth. The colors of Io and the strange ions hitting Krigmas's detector were caused by elements ejected from the moon's volcanoes. Pele, the largest of Io's volcanoes, spews plumes 30 times the height of Mount Everest. Pele debris covers an area roughly the size of France. The cameras on the Voyagers captured over 33,000 images of Jupiter and its satellites alone with the majority of them revealing previously unknown information. Jupiter, for example, had rings. Europa, one of Jupiter's 53 named moons, has a cracked icy crust that is now estimated to be more than 60 miles thick. At Saturn, the two Voyager probes split, with Voyager 1 hurtling through Saturn's rings and flying past Titan. It then turned north, leaving the planet's plane. Voyager 2 continued on to Uranus and Neptune, discovering 10 new moons around Uranus and adding it to the growing list of ringed worlds. During Voyager 2's journey to Neptune, it measured the fastest wind ever recorded in the solar system, which was 1,000 miles per hour. It also confirmed Triton, Neptune's largest moon, as one of the coldest places in the solar system. With a surface temperature of minus 235 degrees Celsius, the spacecraft also observed Triton's ice volcanoes, which emitted nitrogen gas and powdery particles five miles into its hemisphere. In contrast, Voyager 1 is responsible for one of the most iconic photographs of Earth ever taken, known as the pale blue dot. This photo was taken after NASA was about to turn off the cameras on both Voyager probes, but astronomer Carl Sagan pleaded with them to send one last batch of photos from Voyager 1. Because of his influence, the spacecraft pointed its camera back towards Earth on Valentine's Day of 1990 and took 60 final pictures. The pale blue dot captured the Earth from a distance of 3.8 billion miles and remains the most distant portrait of our planet ever taken, and it shows our Earth as just a single pixel. Both Voyager probes have now passed through the heliopause, the boundary of the heliosphere, a bubble of space filled with solar wind that surrounds the Sun and are now in interstellar space. Recently, NASA detected that Voyager 1 had been sending back mysterious data related to its Attitude Articulation and Control System, or the AACS, which controls the spacecraft's orientation as it aligns its high-gain antenna towards Earth. The data sent back did not accurately reflect what was going on aboard Voyager, and NASA scientists are unsure whether the incorrect data is coming directly from the AACS or from another system involved in producing and sending telemetry data. While NASA scientists continue to investigate the technical issue with the AACS system on Voyager 1, some members of the public are wondering if the mysterious data the spacecraft sent back is a sign of something even more extraordinary. Could it be evidence of the first ever contact with intelligent extraterrestrial life? The possibility raises the age-old question, are we alone in the universe? NASA has not yet commented or endorsed this theory leaving many to wonder what secrets the Voyager spacecraft might be keeping. We hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe and like the video and watch these ones as well.